Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to add sound to your Figma prototypes. If you've ever wanted your designs to feel more interactive and give users instant feedback when they click on something, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know how to add an audio effect, like a click sound, to any element in your prototype, making your designs more dynamic and engaging. Let's dive right in. First things first, open up your Figma workspace. If you don't already have it loaded, just head over to Figma.com and open the project you're working on. Now, Figma doesn't support audio out of the box, so we'll need to use a plugin. Down near the bottom left, you'll see the Actions button. Give that a click, it's kind of like your toolbox for extra features and integrations within Figma. Next, we want to find the right plugin to help us add audio. Click on Plugins and Widgets. This is where magic happens. Think of it as a giant app store full of possibilities to extend what Figma can do. In the search bar at the top, type in audio. You'll see several results, but the one we're after is called Punch Cut Audio. This plugin is specifically designed to handle audio actions in your Figma files. Once you've found Punch Cut Audio, select it from the list to install or run it in your project. The nice thing about Punch Cut Audio is that it's made for exactly this kind of task. It acts like a mini soundboard for your prototype. Now let's set up an element in your design to trigger the sound. For this walkthrough, I'll use a simple example that you can follow along with. Draw a rectangle anywhere on your canvas. This could represent a button, a card, or any interactive area in your UI. Then add some text on top of it, maybe something like click me. This little touch helps your users know exactly what's interactive. Here's a pro tip. Once you've added your rectangle and text, select both of them together. You can do this by holding down shift and clicking on each, or simply dragging a selection box around them. With both selected, press Ctrl plus G on your keyboard to group them. Grouping keeps your elements organized and ensures that any actions you assign will affect the whole button, not just one piece of it. At this point, we're ready to add the sound. With your group selected, open up the Punch Cut Audio plugin if it isn't already. Within the plugin, you'll see the option to assign an audio file or a sound effect, like a satisfying click to your chosen element. It's as simple as picking the sound you want from their library or uploading your own, and then linking it to your grouped button. This step might take a moment to configure, but don't worry if it feels unfamiliar. Just follow the prompts within the plugin. After you've chosen your audio and set it to play on click, don't forget to hit save in the plugin window. That locks in your changes to your prototype. And that's it, your button now plays a sound when someone clicks it in your prototype preview. If you're previewing your prototype and you don't hear the sound right away, double check that your computer's audio isn't muted and that your browser has permission to play sound. Sometimes it's the little things that trip us up. So there you go, that's how you can quickly add interactive audio in Figma using the Punch Cut Audio plugin. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or hit any snags during the process, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. And for more hands-on Figma tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy designing.